we have at our fingertips real-world mapping tools, powerful but easy-to-use mapping tools that allow us to examine real-time data on a global scale that increasingly affect our everyday lives. One example is with hurricanes. Let's take a look at the current precipitation from radar imagery using ArcGIS Online across the southern and eastern part of the continental United States. Let's take a look at the GOES weather satellite imagery. We can see Hurricane Florence not far from the North Carolina coast as I'm making this video. In this image, I've made the satellite imagery semi-transparent. I'm going to use the measure tool to measure the distance between the coast and the eye of the hurricane. Right now it's 460 miles. Let's go ahead and change that to kilometers, 750 kilometers-ish. So we are going to examine imagery along with the radar precipitation over the next several days. Again, using these powerful web-based geographic information systems tools, in this case, ArcGIS Online. Let's take a look at the current temperature. I've symbolized the temperature and also created labels so we can see it's in the upper 80s across the coast right now. This is early afternoon, September 12, 2018. Let's take a look at pressure. I predict that the pressure is going to drop as that hurricane moves in. You can see the current pressure right now in millibars for these stations. Again, I've got them labeled. I also can click on each individual point, weather station, as well as the buoys and get the current temp temperature, pressure, and also wind speed and direction. It makes sense if it's a low pressure system, and this is the northern hemisphere, that the wind is going in a counterclockwise rotation. You can see that reflected in the wind directions off the coast here and also on the coast. And of course, this will, this will radically change in intensity as the hurricane makes landfall. One more thing here, let's take a look at state boundaries. We can label these. And so what we're doing is customizing the map so that we can truly understand, in this case, what's happening with a hurricane bearing down on the east coast of the United States. So thoughts and prayers to all those that are in this path. And again, using these live interactive web maps, along with other tools, for example, taking a look at webcams along the coast and comparing that to individual weather stations and locations here. Let's do one more thing. Let's change the base map to oceans. Now we can get a sense of what the ocean floor looks like off the coast here and turn that satellite image back on as well as the radar. We can also do some simple drawing. So if we add a map note, predict using a variety of models where this could come ashore, and then we could change the base map to something like OpenStreetMap and examine the towns and the infrastructure that is in place. We can also change the base map to imagery with labels so we can see in more detail what might be in the path. We can also edit that line and do something similar. Thanks for taking a tour with me using current data inside ArcGIS Online to look at a current event, in this case a hurricane, Hurricane Florence, bearing down on the east coast of the United States. Thanks.